everyone, and welcome to NameHero.com, the leaders in high-speed cloud reseller hosting. So today, I want to talk about reselling email services to your customers. This is a question that comes up and up again and again on our ticket desk and our live chat and on our phone. So I wanted to cover this in a video and talk about your options when it comes to offering your customers email and having a good email service for them in general. Well, the first thing is at Name Hero, all of our hosting packages, our reseller packages, include email. So when you create a cPanel account for your customers, they automatically have access to um, user email um, and, and um, put it on their phone and access it through the webmail interface and all that. Now, if you've followed our blog for any length of time or our YouTube channel, um, you know I've covered about I've covered the topic what the problem is with email on shared hosting. So at Name Hero, we've really corrected this problem on our corporate reseller account by offering a free dedicated IP address with all corporate accounts. So um, really we don't have that much of an issue anymore with shared hosting and emails getting blacklisted because what happens on, in a shared environment if all the customers are using the same IP address, it only takes one customer to send uh, mass emails. Maybe their WordPress got exploited, you know, they're probably not doing it on purpose because obviously at Name Hero we don't allow spammers. So if someone is sending spam then obviously it's, um, it's malicious and we're going to shut it down really quickly, but it only takes one or two emails to go out and to get on a real-time blacklist to damage the whole IP's reputation. So we've really corrected this by all corporate accounts, just giving them right out the bat a free dedicated IP address with their package. And those that order our startup and entrepreneurs, a lot of those people, they just order their own dedicated IP separately. And the same for our web hosting packages. Most of our customers, um, they go ahead and get the dedicated IP, which you can see during the order process. And that mitigates a lot of the problems that you have with shared hosting and email. And you can feel free to Google this, uh, the problem with email and shared hosting, and my article will come up first. And you can read all the technical aspects as to why. But with that said, a lot of our resellers specifically um, want to offer their customers G Suite or Zoho Mail, a third-party solution, because who doesn't love Gmail, right? I personally use it um, for a couple of my domains. It's easy to set up on my phone. It's easy to go to the Gmail interface, um, but I want to have it at my domain. I don't want to use at Gmail. I want to use at whatever my domain is, and your customers, it's probably the same thing. So last summer, I wrote a blog post titled How to Resell G Suite to Your Hosting Customers. And in this article, I talk about Google's partner program, which is kind of a pain in the butt to get set up. I mean, you have to really, um, I think that they, that once you get set up, you have to at least sell 100 licenses first. And then they have to go through a business credit check, um, an anti-bribery due diligence evaluation, and a bunch of stuff. So to actually be a direct reseller of, of, of G Suites, it's quite the process. And I'm just going to go out on a limb and say most of our resellers don't want to be scrutinized to that. Me personally, I don't. Um, so that's why we don't. Um, that's one of the reasons why we don't aren't a member of their partner program, just because um, it's quite the process um, to do that. And we have to make a decision at Name Hero: Are we going to focus on high speed quality cloud web hosting or are we going to focus on reselling email so and and our solution is we're doing um, web hosting that's what we do um, so the G Suite partner program is not for us now is it for you I don't know only you know your business and so maybe that's something that you want to look at you know maybe you could go through their application and that makes sense um, to sell at least 100 licenses right off the bat and go through the business credit check and all that but inside this article I talk about reselling G Suite with Enom uh, many of our resellers almost all of them have a free Enom account with their hosting package. It comes free. You just have to ask for it and we'll give it to you. Um, and they use Enom primarily to sell resell domains, but Enom also allows you to resell G Suite. They are a partner with G Suite. They're in G Suite's uh, partner program. So they, they are an authorized reseller. Let's take a look over here. If we go to um, Enom's site here, you can see that they um, offer G Suite uh, for $5 and $10. Now, this is the same price as if someone's to go to Google directly, $5 and $10 for the business. Now, depending on your reseller account with Enom, this price lowers a little bit. Now at Name Hero, I've got the or we have the Platinum reseller account at Enom, and our price for a basic user is four dollars and twenty-five cents a month. So instead of five dollars, it's four twenty-five. It's a seventy-five cent discount, um, and the business account is eight seventy-five. So it's about. Um, $2.25 um, discounts on that. So it's not, these aren't huge discounts. So if, if you don't want to do the, the G Suite partner program, you can resell with Enum. 
Now, we recently decided it wasn't worth it to resell through Enom because for a while at Name Hero, we were actually reselling G Suite and offering it through our order flow um, to our customers for the same price that Google offers it because we found that if we priced it above what Google offered it, uh, then they would just go to Google direct directly. But if we offered it the same price, you know, our margin is still very slim. Most people get the basic package. So we were making 75 cents a month per user. Now, all it, all it took is for one of those users to come to our support department and say, hey, you know, my G Suite's not working properly. I can't forward an email. Well, what we found is reselling with, with Enom is the back end for us was very limited. So we couldn't get into the whole back end of, of Google, of G Suite's um, back end. So it was really hard for us to troubleshoot it. So we found ourselves saying, you know, you're going to have to go to G Suite directly. Well, then the customers would get mad and say, no, we bought it through you. We want you to support it. And so that's where we kind of had to make the decision. Were we going to continue on reselling G Suite or not? And so we made the decision we're not. That if you want to use G Suite with Name Hero, you most absolutely can. We will, we will even set it up for you, but you have to purchase it directly through Google. So again, you just Google G Suite email or Google Apps email, the old name of it, and this um, will come up. And this is what the price is just for anyone that wants to use G Suite. It's $5 for basic, $10 for business. Most people go with the basic because $5 a month per user, it's, it's pretty cheap and it's, um, you know, it's a great, um, it is a great application. So they'll just go through this process of getting started. And um, 14 days is free, so they can even try it. You can even try it out, or your customers can try it out to see if they like it. And um, then, if they do, then you can, of course, renew it. Um, and the same here with Zoho. Um, Zoho is another platform, um, secure, fast, ad free email for business, free for up to 25 users, and then plans start at $2 a month. Um, so you're free to go through their website as well, and it's very similar to G Suite, but just um, you know, Zoho instead of G Suite. And they've got a couple different features and all that stuff. So a lot of our customers, they really choose one of the two. They choose Zoho, they choose G Suite. And you can see the standard uh, and the pro and the enterprise. You know, it's not, it's not very much to get started with them. Um, and they also have a partner program. So you might want to look into joining that if you're a reseller and offering it to your customers. So that's, that's really your options to the third party ones, Zoho and G Suite. And Name Hero, as I said, it did not make sense for us to resell such services just because we spent more time supporting and troubleshooting than we were actually going to make. So then we have to make a decision. Are we going to be able to offer high speed hosting with quality support, but then also resell Google stuff and then support their stuff as well? I mean, it was just too much for us. So if you're a reseller, you know, kind of weigh your options here and see what works best for you. You know, if your customers, if you're working with a customer where you're developing their website, you're offering them hosting and you're getting more than $5 a month for them, um, for a lot more than just web hosting, then it might make sense to resell and offer them G Suite, maybe through its your, your Enom account, or maybe you go to G Suite and sign up directly. I know that Enom has a WHMCS module, and I believe I have a link to it in this post here. I do. Um, about how you can use um, WHMCS to automate the process. But one thing I found about the WHMCS Enom module, at least when we used it, it was a little clunky. So for instance, if someone canceled G Suite, it was like a, a process to actually get it canceled in WHMCS, and then we're not built through Enom and all that. So um, I, I just had a lot of issues personally reselling um, G Suite through Enom, through WHMCS. And, and we were even one of the beta testers with Enom. And this has probably been two years ago when, when we were beta testing the module for them. And I just feel like the development kind of lingered on it. It's not something that's still updated and, and worked on. And um, so we made the decision not to. So you as a reseller, that's kind of your options. And you just have to really pick the one that's best for your business. You know, is it best to use Enom and, and go that route? Or do you want to become a G Suite partner? And, and again, that's pretty much the process to go through uh, G Suite and become a, a partner program. Because as I said, they want you to sell at least 100 licenses before 
they approve you to be an, an actual partner. And so someone like Enom with um, millions of domains under management, you know, it only makes sense that, that they would do that. But I'm not sure as a resale web host if that would make sense. Um, personally, I have not went through the Zoho uh, partner program and really looked at it. I just know from my experience with G Suite, you know, it's really not in the plans of Name Hero to begin reselling any email solution in the near future. Um, we're just going to stick right now to the email that's on our servers, offering dedicated IPs, and that seems to be working out really well. So take that for what it's worth. Let me know if you have any questions on this. I know I got an inquiry yesterday, and I, I like to, whenever I get suggestions for blog posts, I like to um, do them because I know if one person's asking it, then I know a lot of other people are thinking it. So feel free to send those requests over to me. You can send them, send them to ryan at namehero.com, tweet me on Twitter or, or whatnot, and I'll see it. If I don't reply to every single request um, individually, please note I do read them all, but if you saw my email box, you would see why it's impossible to reply to every single one of them. But I do appreciate um, the suggestions. So I hope this helps you out and helps you decide what you're going to do with your reseller business. If you're going to be a reseller of such platforms, or if you're just going to, um, you know, offer a basic email, then leave it up to the customer. You know, again, I will reiterate that if your customer goes to G Suite directly and they sign up, it's super easy. And I've got um, blog posts too, to walk you through the actual setup of G Suite specifically. And it's the same for Zoho. It's just, it's just modifying the MX record. So look for that uh, to integrate it. But it's, it really is simple. And again, for us, it's just not worth trying to support it. So thanks for watching and let us know if you have any questions.